Welcome to From Scratch Ranch. Today we are going to be building the high wall. That big wall there, two by six, 16 feet high. So we finished up the master loft up into this space here. So that's all done. This whole subfloor, all these joists, and the subfloor on top's all in. And then we just finished uh, Michaela's loft here. So this turned out pretty good. So that's all done. So now we are ready to put this high wall in. So what I'm doing is, and these I got these two by six by 16s up there just to kind of outline where it's gonna go. And then on this side here, so in between the two lofts. And the reason I'm doing this is one, I can't build a wall on top of that wall. It creates a pivot point, which is not good. Um, and as an architectural feature, this area will, this will be a two by six uh, wall that will stick out a little bit. And we'll have our two staircases on each side here up into the lofts. And that two by six wall will also support a climbing wall on the back side. We are gonna build a climbing wall. Um, also the fireplace, the wood burning stove will go right in the middle all the way up. So what I'm gonna do is, since this is about 16 feet wide and it's gonna be 16 feet tall, so I'm gonna to have to build it in sections. I, can't, I wish I could just build a 16 by 16 wall and just lift it up. Um, it might be a little heavy, but um, it also won't fit in here. Like I can't lay out a 16 by 16 foot wall on the floor here and then lift it up. Um, Cause this is 16 feet wide. Um, it, it'll fit like exactly in here, but probably not. So I'm gonna have to build it in long sections this way. And I'll probably just build it in two halves. So 16 feet on the floor that way, probably by about eight feet wide, kind of, pick it up, pivot it up, and slide it up in there. So we'll see, we'll see how this uh, turns out. So I think how I'm gonna measure this is I'm gonna go up high, mark it where the rafters are at, take it down, and then cut three inches off for the top plate and bottom plate, and then cut those three inches off. And I'll have to do that for all of them. Now that I got my cut board exactly the height that I need it, um, I'm gonna measure that board and whatever length that is, I'm gonna cut the rest of these down to that. All right, so it is 188 and a half. Definitely gonna put blocking in between. All right, let's get some nails in this thing. There it is, 16 foot wall. Okay, so what we need to do, this is a super heavy wall because it's two by sixes. We're gonna lift it up, I'm gonna pull it out, and then we're gonna spin it put it up against that wall. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's a heavy one. Someone's gonna have to come what? and pull the bottom out. Now pull your side. You push up. Oh. What are you doing? Okay. Don't go any higher. 
to spin it. Budging. Well, a tiny bit, but barely. What are we doing? We are building the outside wall of my lock. All right, get to it. Yeah. You know how to do it. I You're do. all on your own. Do. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mark that line there, and then we have to take it three inches below that for the bottom plate, top plate. That's how we get our measurement. All right. Okay, so now that we got that piece of tall wall up, the high wall up, I got this section to do here from that loft to here where we ended up. So to get that measurement, what I need to do is measure that bottom plate there and then transfer whatever measurement I get down here up to where that uh, joist is and then measure it across to where this stud ends mark it because I haven't put any blocking in here and some of these are kind of you know wiggly so I want to make sure that the measurement up there is translated or from down here up to there and then I'll take the measurement from that joist across to that mark and then that's the measurement I need to cut my bottom plate and my top plate to make it all work and fit together. So I've got 97 and a half. Okay. So I'm gonna take my measurement from that joist there and mark it at 97 and a half. All right, well, that looks pretty good actually. But I do gotta get that blocking in there. All right, so now, I'm gonna measure that distance. And that's at 77 and 1 8. All right, I forgot what that measurement was for those two by six high wall studs that I did yesterday for this section. So I've gotta remeasure this. So let's see. Hang it up in here and just drop the tape measure. Since I'm by myself. I think it was 188 and a half, but just to be sure. Yep, 188 and a half. Okay, good. I'm just, just Glad I remeasured just in case. Oh, 
Oh, that's a tall wall. Ooh, that's gonna be fun lifting that one up. I know, but that needs to be on the bottom. That's the bottom. Yep, right? That's the bottom. Okay. So we'll lift over here, but we're gonna see if we can. Maybe Michaela, if you can maybe get the base here and help spin it that way. Right. As we pull it this way, and then we'll hopefully kind of get it up. All right. All right, ready? Mm hmm. <sighs> Was fall over. Mm -hmm. Ow. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Okay, what if we go in? Well, so if I go in, it's going to start to fall this way. Oh. All right, I think you can still move the brace. about this wall. Oh, you're so close, only a few more hits and we're there. I mean, you're definitely closer than you were. Would you like me to do it? I could probably hit it a few times. Mm -hmm. close. Look at that. I think I'm going to be done. I don't think my arm is going to work anymore after this.
Cause you know how I know how to do it? Cause I watch From Scratch Ranch. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram. And Facebook. And Facebook at From Scratch Ranch. Mm -hmm.